Today, I'll show you how to create a contact form pop-up in WordPress. And we'll cover it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. So the first thing we want to do is head over to our dashboard because we need to install a contact form. For this one, we'll be using WP Forms. WP Forms is a simple and easy to use drag and drop form builder. So we'll go over to plugins. Let's go to add new. They have a lot of features in their paid plugin or their pro or higher. But for this one, we'll just use their light version. We'll search for WP Forms. This is the one we want. We'll install it now and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's installed, the next thing we can do is come over to WP Forms and click Add New. And by default, it comes with several templates that you can choose from. So you don't have to spend any time creating one from a blank form, but you can do that here as well. So for this one, we're going to use simple contact form. Let's use the template. Just like that, we've already created the form. You can just go in and finesse, finesse some of these things like change the, the form name. If you wanted to change the submit button here, we can do that. Let's go back to fields. And then you can just set this up if you need to make any changes. For instance, you can make this a simple name. I tend to like to do simple. So it's just one text field. If you need to add anything else, you have all of these fields that you can choose from to bring over. But for this one, we like it just like this. So we'll go up and click save changes. Now we need to set up a couple of things. We need to set up the confirmation and the notification. So let's go over to settings and do confirmation. Confirmation is the message that they'll get once they submit this. And you can either set up a message that just pops up as soon as they hit submit. You could show a particular page, like a thank you page. You can even redirect them to a completely different page. If you have something that you're selling, you could redirect that. For this video, I'll just set up the message. And I like this. Thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. And then the other thing we want to make sure to do is set up the notification. And this is the email that you'll get once the form is submitted. By default, it brings in the admin name or the ad, excuse me, the admin email of the website. You can change this here. You can also use these smart tags, show smart tags, and these are the fields that are in there. You can change the email subject line. And what I like to do here is I actually do like to show smart tags because I want to make this different every time. Otherwise, it would just say new entry, simple contact form, and that's all I would see. So I wouldn't get any differentiation. So we can do new entry and maybe just do the name. And then the email field, it'll bring all the fields in. That's pretty good. So we'll save that. And now we can embed this. So we click on that. You can either select the existing page, create a new page. That's assuming that you want to add it, say, to a contact page. Since we're wanting to do a pop-up form, I actually want to use the short code. So I'm going to click on use a short code and we want to copy this. And then we'll get out of WP Forms because now we need to add the pop-up part. Now for the pop-up part, we're going to be using Optin Monster. And you can get Optin Monster by heading over to optinmonster.com and sign up for an account. Once you set up an account with Optimonster, Monster, then you can come back over to your WordPress dashboard and go to plugins, add new so we can install the plugin. From here, we can search for Optin Monster and we want to install it and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once it's installed, you need to connect your WordPress website with Optin Monster so we can click connect your site. If you don't see that, then you can come down to settings and connect existing account. From here, we'll connect WordPress to OptiMonster and it'll come back and let you know that it's good to go. Great. Once that's set up, we can go over and create a campaign. And this is where we'll do the pop up. Under campaigns, we'll click add new. And these are all the campaign types. Since this is a pop up that we want, we'll, cl we'll click pop up. Now you can use any of these templates, but since we are adding the pop up of the form, we want to actually use the canvas. So we can search for a canvas template. And that way we can add our code. So let's use this template, name it, and let's start building. All right from here, we want to look for the HTML block and we want to drag it over here and put it in here. And now we need to add that short code so we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to WP Forms, All Forms. And this is the short code that we need to grab. I'm going to grab this, right click, copy, head back over to the edit editing element and I'm going to right click and paste that in here and let's click save and now we need to do the display rules so when will this be displayed so let's click on display rules 
And you can have this display however you want, but we do recommend that you use the monster links. And this will be when someone just clicks on a button or something, this will pop up. So you can do that here. To find that when we have the condition, if instead of time on page, we would click on this and we see some popular items. The one we're looking for is the monster link, which is on click. So then we can copy that monster link code. So I'm gonna click that. And then we need to do next step. Next step, because everything is coming over with a copy of the, with the monster link code. So now we can click save. And then you wanna go over to publish. And you see that it's not quite published yet. It's still showing as like paused. So what we wanna do is click publish. And we need to add it to our WordPress site. So let's head back over to our WordPress site and let's go to wherever it is that we want to add it. For this one, we're gonna to go to our contact page. And I want to put a button on my contact page. This is great if you want to add this to even a header area or a menu item. You want to add a button up there. You can do that as well. Fill out the information. Once you have the button styled however you want, you want to come over here and click on the little link text. And then we need to paste in the monster link that we just copied. And paste that link into our hyperlink. And then you can choose if you want to display it in a new tab as well. Now when they view the page and you have a nice contact form that people can use. And if you're wanting to get more form submissions or to grow your leads, here's Tim with OptiMonster with three proven methods that they see their customers use to grow their leads on their website.